My friends, what if I told you that corona hair is a real thing, and if you got it, you should flaunt it, because, oh man, look at those, oh man, I love the corona hair. So, if you got corona hair, thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe. I'm here today because I think we have all experienced that terrifying moment when you drive all the way out to your favorite spot and you go to fly and you're thinking, I just flashed beta flight. I got my settings dialed in. I was able to fly it in my front yard. I was able to enjoy it. And then when you get to your favorite bando, you realize that you hate how it flies. And your friends didn't bring a laptop and your friends didn't bring an extra quad and you are now stuck with your COVID hair and no way to get your quad into order without using OSD and you know going through the clunky interface or maybe you 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 don't remember what to set in OSD and you're not sure and you want the sliders and you're not you're just not sure of what you want to do that's where this baby comes in handy with helping you out in your situation because with one of these a USB OTG cable one of these an Android phone and one of these a regular USB cable micro USB whatever that fits your flight controller you now have access to the full beta flight experience and I'm dropping a link down below where you can download it for yourself and it will be in the Google Play Store soon and the iPhone version is coming very soon but you know them iPhone folks and I don't know why people do iPhone I just don't if you'll notice I have a new quad wall it has two quads on it it's cool it's cool it's my new quad wall it's actually a bulletin board but I can uh, stick some quads on it and uh, I actually don't like to keep my quads on the wall because they're going to fall in the middle of the night wake me up and then my dogs are going to go nuts and then uh, yeah I don't understand the quad wall thing I don't, I don't know maybe if I had like 500 of them maybe I don't know but for this we have an Android phone an OTG cable a USB cable and beta flight APK with the link down below and we're going to take a look at it and you're going to be happy that you're now able to fully configure beta flight outside on your phone without a care in the world except for your corona hair and who is socially distancing and who's wearing a mask for the record I'm in South Carolina and we are number two for rising cases next to Florida for 1,000 people so if you're going out think of the cashier and wear a mask please please because it's spreading like wildfire here and it's a little bit scary but right now one of the most socially distant activities we can do is quadcopter flying so let's jump over to beta flight APK so thank the beta flight developers when you get a chance because they rock so I'm outside got my pepper jack here got my diatone ER349 and we're plugging it in right now by the way if you have an Australian cattle dog uh, you will know they are known for licking and that's about it licking and punching and they hate feet so when he sees a foot he's gonna freak out yeah they, for some reason they don't like feet I don't know if it's genetic or what but anyway I'm plugging in here and yeah you're getting the shaky cam today and I'm okay with that you know why because I'm okay with that so anyway plugged in here we're flipping over to beta flight so when you go to your link that's listed down below you're going to scroll all the way down and assets will be here you just click it to expand and you want to download the APK it says do you want to download yes download open install you may have to give permission for this to trust your Chrome or whatever browser you're using and you're going to open 
and opening is couldn't be simpler. Now, before I plug in, you will always get your notice that it's an outdated version. Don't know why, it's probably just a notice. So click your down. Three buttons, auto connect, make sure that's on. It saves you a lot of trouble. If you click your hamburger on the upper left side, you'll get welcome, change log, privacy, documentation, and options. We're going into options. I always like enable expert mode, reopen last tab, and advanced CLI, and dark theme. The other two I just leave off. Um, you can do beta versions if you want, unstable versions. I like those two, but um, since this is a phone app, I figure it's unstable enough. So it's all good. And you can get into opt out, but I like to give my stats over because uh, it'll help developers and I trust Betaflight developers. So going back to welcome, all we're going to do now is plug in the quad, plug in the OTG cable. It's going to pop up here. Allow configurator to access Betaflight STM3. Basically my flight controller, just hit OK. It's giving me an app choice. I could use SpeedyB, which I used to have. I don't use it anymore. And Beta Flight Configurator. If you want to say it always, you can. And you've noticed it is really nice. It's a nice setup here. You can calibrate your accelerometer, which is uh, very useful. If you're getting some weird flight characteristics, you can back up your settings, reset. You can activate bootloader DFU mode, but you cannot flash from this version, so uh, don't do that. It, would. it will give you your arming disable flags. Right now, fail safe and RPM filter. Nice. And click your hamburger again, and you have all of your normal desktop modes, which is really awesome. So we're going down to ports just like normal. I can even change my IRC tramp if I want. Uh, select my run cam, bin walk, LIDAR, OS. Good gracious. UR6. I can do, can disable whatever I want. Going hamburger. Configuration. Once again, you, if you're like me and you're an idiot and you forgot to uh, reverse your props, you can reverse them here. You can set up your D-Shot and your gyro update. Now this is running beta flight 4.2, so if you'll notice I can't change my gyro update frequency. That's an upgrade for beta flight 4.2. Um, that they actually use the 8K gyro update frequency and not something else. You can change your maximum arm angle in case you got stuck in a tree and didn't realize it. Uh, you can change that to 180 if you have your accelerometer up. You can set your receiver. You can do pretty much everything on it. Save and reboot if you want. You can go power battery if you want to dial in your voltmeter or your amp meter. You can scale that in as well. And you can do warning cells, all the normal stuff. Fail safe. If you'll notice, this is the exact same thing you get in a desktop. It's just on my phone, which is something I carry everywhere. So it's really nice. Now, you can enable sliders if you want. Uh, yes, because my PIDs, I, I tweaked them a little bit. So I don't, I didn't use the sliders. But with 4.2, I've got to tell you, just use the sliders. It's so much easier. So you can set your PD balance, whatever you want. Uh, I normally keep my D gains a little bit low, D max, D min. Uh, my D max actually keep kind of higher than my D min. But um, yeah, so you can do that. And run a little bit on the ragged side there if you want. Uh, P and D gains if you want to just rise. High gains. Look at that, that's awesome. And I don't, actually I do like the stick response gain now. I've gotten kind of spoiled by that uh, going down. Can set your acro trainer, your throttle boost, your dynamic idle value. Um, this is a three inch quad, so 30 to 50 is normally a good range in there. And just moving on down, you can change your anti gravity. Pretty much, you can change everything you can. There's rate profiles. So, if you're like me and you like messing around with the new rate choices you get, you can actually change them in here. Actual quick rates. Uh, quick rates are really nice if you just want to set your max rate. 
There you go, you just said it, 1670. Uh, I do not recommend 1670 to be your uh, actual rate unless you just like being really snappy and really sensitive. So anyway, I don't recommend that, but quick rates you can set up. This is the one that's really important to me is filter because sometimes I will nudge something the wrong way and not like it. Anyway, not changing anything on it, but like I say, you can just go through and snap. Now, receiver, it's the exact same. This is literally the best version I've seen. It's just great. Uh, you can even change your OSD setup. You can move things in here just by clicking and moving, or point, you know, hold down and move. It should, should move. So there it goes. It should move. Just hold and move your pieces like you want. And yeah, you can add, you can change your timers, you can change your warnings, even your post flights. Just save that if you want. Video transmitter, you can set up your whole table. Uh, hopefully you don't have to do this very much though. It's always nerve wracking to me. Um, yeah, even CLI should work. Let's see, tasks. It's one of my favorite commands since I learned it. Oh, it does work. Yeah, see, task shows you your percentage along with your PID rate. Uh, get run away. Oh, run away takeoff prevention. That's one of the things I always check to make sure it's on. That will save you if you ever put a prop on backwards or two props on backwards or forget to flip your uh, rotation orientation and yeah you can just get you can get all if you want so yeah there we go just get uh yeah it's just basically a full version for your android phone and i thought you would like it and yeah you can jump back over now and that's it for today so thank you very much Thanks to Quadwall. Please be safe out there. Wear a mask, please. It's it's not really just for you. Just it's for everybody. And uh, yeah, there's there's data showing that the mask helps other people, and that helps slow the spread. And that would make my life a lot easier, because holy cow, it is nerve wracking. Anyway, thank you so much. Thumbs up. Appreciate it. Y'all be good. Be safe. We will talk to you later.